Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're recovering from the daylight savings time. Well, maybe not. Um, I know that always, always trying to recover from um, a change like, like uh, changing your clock, clocks, springing forward. I'm just trying to get... Um, my groups together uh, for devotions this morning. So just give me a moment as I try to find uh, them again. For some reason, every week in my list of my groups, they change them. So just give me a moment and praise the Lord. So I'm just going to do that. It is Monday, the 15th of, of March. Good morning, Gabe. Good morning, Allison. Good morning, Sherry. Uh, what a beautiful day. So this morning we're going to do deal with Luke 6.31. Luke 6.31. And... Uh, it's a interesting verse that um, I'm looking forward to dealing with this morning. It says this, do to others as you would like them do to you. So funny story about this verse. Um, I went to Harvey Elementary School in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Um, I remember uh, early in the morning I showed up at school and I decided that I was being picked on quite a bit. And so I, <laughs> I read this verse in Sunday school or something the morning before. And I went, oh, do to others as you would have them do unto you. All right. I'm going to go in there. And I'm going to, you know, they're not leaving me alone. So I'm going to retaliate. <laughs> Because that's what the Bible says, you know? And so I was ready. I came in that morning ready to uh, release havoc on these bullies. And, I mean, uh, I wore a bandana to school. And I was just a young kid. And I was ready to release havoc. And uh, the principal stopped me in the entryway and and he uh, he says, what are you doing, Tim? I says, man, I read a verse this this Sunday. And the, these kids, this is before the whole bully thing in school. And I read this verse and it says, do unto others as they have to do unto you. And these kids won't leave me alone, so I'm going to take care of it. This principal wasn't going to do anything. So I had to take care of myself. And so I was going to retaliate. And he looked at me and says, you know, that's not what that verse means. And I says, sure it does. Because they won't leave me alone. So I'm going to do unto them as they want to do unto me. And, and he just went, no, you need to calm down. And you need to take that bandana off. And then I just says, you know, um, I've got Native American blood in me. So this is my right to look like a... Indian, as I said, and he says, no, you need to take that off. He was more concerned about my bandana than what I was about ready to do to those kids and and me taking the verse out of context. I just remember that. And so uh, I was just thinking about that this morning. You know, two things this morning is sometimes we look at a verse and we take it out of context. You know, do to others as you would like them to do unto you. And really, it comes from us. How do we treat other treat people? It is the same way we want them to treat us. So when we leave today, if we treat people in a way, in such a way that we want to be treated, that's how we. It's not how people are treating us that we should retaliate that way. Good morning, Miss Foe. And 
<laughs> too many times. We're like, I'm going to get them back. You know, they're treating me wrong. I'm going to repay them with the same way they're paying me. And that's not really what it's talking about. It's how we treat people, right? And so I just, I just remember that from being in Harvey Elementary School um, that morning. Um, I can't even tell you the principal's name uh, to this day. But, um, you know, we, we think, sometimes we read verses and we're like, oh, yeah, that's what that means. But when you look at Scripture and you say, it comes down to us, how we treat people. And we'd like to be treated by that person. And and in this day and age, they may not treat us that same way. They not may not bring back the same way. You know, we might treat somebody with respect. They might not respect us back. Maybe that was, I don't know. Um, I know when I went to Harvey, the principal that was there was Miss Tacky, but then there was another. But uh interesting. We all have, you know, we look at um, verses different, you know, but when it comes down to it, it really starts out with how I, me, me, treat people, right? Uh, How we respond to people. And that's so important in this day and age. Yep, Miss Tacky was for... Sherry, did you go to Harvey? (laughs) So, um, it's so interesting how we treat people and that we want them to treat us too. And praise the Lord. Um, So that's the encouragement word today, that let's treat people with respect. um, And they'll respect us the same way. Um, When I got older, I worked in um uh with inner city kids and we always talk about respect and they always say you don't respect me and i says i respect you and they but you want respect you got to give respect you know it's that whole thing i i want to treat you know you treat people with respect you're going to get respect sometimes you don't that's true I'm, I'm thinking someone's thinking oh no that's not true yeah sometimes it is not true it's you don't get respect all the time but do our we need to do our very best to treat people the way we want to be treated and so uh it's important and it's monday hallelujah <laughs> we made it through the weekend and uh well i have great weekends um so luke six thirty one is the verse. So get out your notebook and write this verse out. Do not do to others as you would like them to do to you. And put an O, observe it, A, apply it to your life, P, pray. So if you have any prayer requests, go ahead and add those um, to you. I want to, before we pray, I want to thank everyone that supported and helped me um, with the camera. It is It is on its way. And so, um, if not this week, next week, we'll be, it should be a whole lot, well, I think it's good now, but it's going to be better, um, sound and everything. So, um, going to be online with that next week, hopefully. So, good things. So, thank you so much. All right, prayer requests. Um, It's Monday. We're tired, you know, spring forward, messed with us. So, and um, God is good. So I'm gonna start praying. So let's uh, let's pray. Lord, thanks, thanks for the day. Thank you for all that you bless us with. I pray that you bless everybody who's watching now. Those that watch later, I pray that you encourage them, Lord, and that you just give them a great Monday, and that you, Lord, that you will bless them, Lord Jesus, and that you encourage them. And that, Lord, that you heal our land of this COVID. Lord, I know that you're working already uh, and that uh, you're taking care of this. I pray for our government, that, Lord, that you continue to give wisdom. I pray uh, for Uncle Jose and Aunt Chris, that, Lord, that you continue to heal their bodies. And, Lord, for house hunting. And that, Lord, that you provide the right house. 
And Lord, I thank you for that, that you've already got the house picked out. And I pray, Lord God, that you just give us the opportunity to bless somebody today and uh, give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today. And Lord, we just give you this day, Lord, so we can honor you with it. And Lord, that we may treat others as we would like to be treated. And Lord, thank you. So Lord God, bless my friends as they're a blessing to me, Lord, in your name. Amen. Hey, you guys have an awesome, awesome Monday. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 6.30. And uh, have a great day. It's Monday. All right. Love you guys. Have a great day.